Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now to do this Scottish Langwarm scarf, this scarf is done long ways. Lang and warm. So it's lang because it's long and warm because it's warm. But I'm going to show you how to do the granny stitch like this where you're doing the whole length of your scarf. You can also do this like a blanket. I've started one of these as a blanket in the same colours. I'll show you how to put the fringe on your Langworm scarf as well. Now I am using Carnival Hobby Carnival Yarn. This one is number 10. I've got quite a few of these so I'm going to make a blanket as well as the scarf. And you can make it as wide as you want. So you're doing the length, you're making it lang. So you're doing the length of the scarf. We're not doing it from here and working up the length. We're doing it this way. We're doing it this way. So we're working across the length of your scarf. And you can also do this, like I said, as a rectangle blanket be beautiful as a rectangle blanket most granny things are done in squares and this way you can do it as a rectangle or a great big lang scarf just like the scottish people say it's going to be lang and warm it's going to be a lang warm scarf and i'm going to show you how to do it so i'm going to do a sample now you'll do your chain in sets of three and sets of three so that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's long enough for a sample. I'm going to add an extra stitch. Now into the fourth stitch, count one, two, three, four. And we're going to put two more UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. So I'm going to put a cluster in to that stitch. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and put another cluster in there. One, two, and three. Now I've made myself a corner. I've made a corner in that stitch. Skip two, one, two, and do one cluster into the next stitch. One, two, and three. Skip two, one, two, and put another cluster, another cluster all the way along. One, two, and three. Skip two, one, two, and do one more cluster. Do that all the way along your length. So I'm on the last cluster along. So I've got three stitches left and I'm going to build a corner in the last stitch. I'm going to put one cluster into this last stitch. So that's one. two and three. I'm going to chain two, one, two. Now into the same stitch put one more cluster. I'm building a corner in this last stitch. Two and three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the space 
we're going to work down your length. So I'm going to move into the space and put one cluster in that space. I'm going to pull my little tail end in as well. So into the next space, I'm going to put a cluster all the way along. One cluster into these spaces. I'm going to trim the tail end. So in the spaces in between your clusters, so these are the chain two spaces that we skipped. We skipped two chains when we did this cluster on this side. And this is where we're putting these clusters in the space. I'll put my last one in. And into that chain of three that we started with, I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn my work around. Now I'm going back into that space. We're going to put a cluster into each of the spaces along, and then we'll put two corners in at the end. I'll show you that. So we're going to leave this corner just now. That's my corner there. So into that space, put two more stitches to build a cluster. One and two. Into the space, put another cluster all along. So I'm near the end. I've got a space here. I'm going to put one cluster into that space. Now this was my corner. This was the one on the end. In here where this chain two space is, we're going to put two corners. So I'm going to put one cluster first. Put one cluster in, one, two, and three. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and back in there, I'm going to put another cluster. So that's me done one corner. So what I'm going to do is in the same chain space, I'm going to do another corner. So put another cluster, one, two, and three, chain two, one, two, and put one more cluster in. So that's me got two corners in this end. So then you'll have your corners to work in to each corner. So one into each space all the way along to the other side. So I've done my last cluster and I'm at this point and this is where I'm going to put the two corners again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one cluster into this chain of two. Chain two, one two and into that cluster into that chain space one more cluster so that's my first corner of this side done so into that same space put one more cluster one that's three stitches two and three Chain two, one, two. I'm going to build my last corner to keep my edges straight. So 
So I've got my two corners on this side. Put a corner in here, you'll put a cluster in the middle of these two clusters and a corner in here and then continue as, as wide as you want it to be. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain of three and that will finish this round. You'll chain three and turn and then into that space you'll put another cluster. Now into my first chain of two here, I've got my chain two here, I've got about one corner, so that's one cluster, two chain and one cluster. So two chain and one more cluster into this corner. Now in between these two clusters that are on the end, I'm going to put one cluster in there. In between those two. And then move to my next corner. And build another corner. One, two, put one cluster, two chain, one, two, and one more cluster into the corner. And that gives you your two corners and your two chain, you've got your spaces here for your next cluster. And you'll work along so one cluster into each space. You'll just keep going around and around. So in this corner, you'll put one corner in here. In the middle here, you'll put one cluster. And then in that corner, you'll build another corner. And once you've got that round on, you can clearly see where your spaces are. So I'm going to show you how to add fringes to your Langworm scarf. Now, you'll need something to wrap some yarn around. I'm going to use my mobile phone. Just get your yarn, get something at least six or eight inches tall, and then just wrap it around like this until you get a fair amount of yarn on. Now, I've already got some done. to take it off and what you'll do is just cut through the loops and you can make your fringes as long as you want them to be. Now I've got a bundle here already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three strands, my yarn's quite thin if you're using thicker yarn, then you can use less strands. Fold them in half and then put your hook through. I'm going to go through the stitch in this chain. Go through your crochet, pull your strands through and then pull all of those strands through that loop. And give it a little pull to tighten it in and that is how you add a fringe you can use the fringe you can put this you can build you can make a fringe on bags scarves clothing anything so I'm going to skip a stitch and put another bundle in just pull it through that loop of three, pull them through, split them apart a little bit and give it a little pull just to tighten it in. Then I'm going to skip a stitch and move to the next one. So 
So I'll skip a stitch and then put my fringe through. Just pull it through. You've got a loop. Then pull all of those through that loop. And that's how you add a fringe. Just pull it apart, tighten it up. And once you've got your fringe on and it's the length, you just trim it to the length that you want. And that is how you'll put a fringe on your scarf. So it's quite easy to do the granny stitch in a long length. And that is how you make a Scottish Langwarum scarf. Easy. Now give this a try with this granny stitch in this rectangle and crochet the length of your scarf. Rather than working from the bottom up, try it this way. Try it for a lot of different stitches. It's so much quicker as well because you're getting the width, the length done faster than doing it from the bottom up and doing lots and lots. I've only done one, two, three, four, five rows each side. So I've done five rounds and that's my Langwarum scarf completed and it's really pretty in this yarn. You can use any yarn you want, any thickness, just use the hook size it tells you on your label. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please click on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.